So this is some of the area that was uh, destroyed in, I would say, 2011, I think, 12. Yeah. This was a lot of moose yard here. You know, through the measures to harmonize process, we would have removed, you know, a lot of these uh, blocks for the moose habitat. Yeah. You know, there was bear dens identified here, wolf dens. So a lot of that uh, was destroyed, you know, because we weren't able to complete the, the work needed. Yeah. So they, they blocked everybody from coming in here? Yeah, I, we, were, lot, we were put it under injunction and, you know, most of the community were, were already in conditions from the highway blockades. Okay. Yeah, so we were like uh, breaching our conditions by being here. That's why we had uh, such a small number for the Pagan. Yeah. Yeah. There was, you know, some community members, you know, that were banned from coming back to the community uh, after the blockade uh, on the highway. But they couldn't come home? They couldn't come home. They were forced out. You know, but that's all, that's all it's always been about is the extraction of the natural resources, you know, for Quebec. You know, they've tried so hard, you know, to, to kill the agreement that they've had with us. Mm -hmm. You know, they even went as far as, you know, causing division in the community. Mm -hmm. You know, meddling in, into our, in, in our affairs and, you know, the bottom line is it's always been about, you know, cutting mm -hmm. forestry. You know, there's, there's been nothing for the community. These towns, you know, they all re re rely on our territory. You know, and we've always said, you know, uh, we have to find a way to coexist with all users of the land and, mm -hmm. you know, the animals, you know, the trees, the people. And, you know, and through this trilateral agreement, you know, that's where, you know, we, we get a say in how we manage this territory. And, you know, that's why Quebec doesn't, doesn't like it, you know, because we're going to have a voice in it. What we what we need is a, a good uh, co-management plan, you know, resource revenue sharing, mm -hmm. you know, expansion of the reserve. Mm -hmm. You know, we need all that, and that's the, I think that's the way we're going to you know survive. You know, is is by us having a voice in the, these developments that happen on our territory. Mm -hmm. uh, Quebec spends Quebec spends a lot of money when we set up blockades there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said they they spend a lot. You know, from the 2008 highway blockades mm -hmm. and Pagan, you know, mm -hmm. Esden, they spent almost. You know, last time I I heard was uh, close to uh, a million. Huh. You know, just transporting all these cops from Montreal, they bring. That's helicopters, crazy. they bring backhoes, they bring, they come prepared to, to remove yeah, a I mountain. Mean, uh, if they spent that money working a relationship, mm -hmm. how much further ahead would they be? Yeah. You know, instead yeah. of wasting it. Yeah. You know, and, uh, we, we always preferred uh, to, you know, uh, cooperation instead of confrontation you know let's work this out you know in a matter where we all leave uh, you know accommodated not just the companies but also the community yeah. 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 they make uh, Quebec makes over over a hundred million just uh, on the territory and uh, within the 10,000 square kilometers of our trilateral agreement territory a hundred million and nothing comes back to the community nothing no no training dollars, no nothing. Yeah. There was that, there was, I remember hearing about um, one of the blockades where they were tear gassing people. Mm -hmm. That was on the highway uh, 117 in 2008. There was uh, elders, children, yeah. you know, that were being tear gassed. I don't know, I, 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 I never forget about that, that day, you know. All we wanted was a, you know, a, a say, you know, but uh, it was more for, for Quebec anyway. They didn't send anybody down, you know, to negotiate. 
instead they sent the riot police you know then they just uh, they, they, they weren't for talking and they were sent down to to remove the blockade we had a lot of people that got charged for that arrested banned from coming back to the community you know it was a it was a hard time mm. yeah. and a lot of people you know were left to take the plea bargain from the Quebec you know because we didn't have the the funds to fight off all the charges yeah. you know so we had to uh, like pick and choose I guess you know you know but there were some people that uh, you know that ended up with a criminal record or you know but we knew the consequences we knew what we were getting ourselves into mm -hmm. so we didn't mind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know we had to do what needed to be done okay. and you know we're not afraid to do it again you know if need be we're going to to do it again you know because it's it's for the future you know Quebec doesn't see it like that but uh, for us it's for the survival of our way of life mm -hmm. yeah. the mining mm -hmm. that'll be uh, I heard that's the next thing that they want to do is they want to come in with the mining yeah like copper mine is that what they're yeah well there's a, a company uh, called copper one and they found some samples on the territory uh, you know, they found uh, deposits of uh, copper and nickel. We told them, you know, we, we don't agree with mining. We have a, an, an agreement in place with Quebec and Canada right now. And mining is not uh, not part of it mm -hmm. and is not welcome. Mm -hmm. yeah. We haven't had an official meeting. Mm -hmm. You know, we're trying to avoid all that consultation. You know, I've just been going to their annual general assembly and uh, you know just delivering the message that the community is going to block set up blockades and block their company but that's it i mean if they if they even um there's even in place now they you know consult and consent mm -hmm. but with the u.n declaration it's even stronger yeah the that, free prior informed consent yeah mm -hmm. that they have to have yeah before they can come in and do this yeah you know so it's important that we get that done drip and uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, a lot of uh, useful uh, useful information there that we yeah. could use. Yeah.